Hello everyone, this is Vortex. Welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy 1. Today we're going to continue making our journey through the Mount Gold Volcano. In our last episode we made our way to the second basement level of the volcano and we ended out the video by opening a whole batch of treasure here within this large chamber on the second basement level. Now, I think we've officially opened all of the treasure chests on this floor, so it's time for us to do some backtracking. What we want to do is exit this large chamber and then head on off to the west to find the staircase, which will take us down to the third basement level. We still have three more floors to fight our way through, still a few new monsters to find, and still plenty more treasure chests to loot. So let's see if we can make our way out of this large chamber here. Well, I just got home from a relatively quiet day at work. Just a few of us working at the office this weekend. Most everyone else is off enjoying the Labor Day weekend. But it's been kind of an interesting week at my job. See, our office has become infested by a whole bunch of those black gnats. They appeared about a week ago and they just seem to have multiplied since then and those little buggers love to get up in your face and your forehead and your eyes and just generally annoy the heck out of you while you're trying to work. Well yesterday somebody finally figured out that the source region of the gnats was actually some new potted plants that were recently put out on the front porch of the office and I guess the soil was moldy. I guess the gnats like the moldy soil so I got rid of those plants but we still have the gnats in our office. I guess the uh, good news about that though is it's been kind of entertaining for me to watch the guy sitting at the workstation across from me slap himself silly today so that was kind of fun. <laughs> still though if I run into any insect type monsters here in this FF1 LP you can rest assured that I'll be using a high level magic spell on them. Faraga comes to mind. <laughs> So anyway, I don't know how I got off on that tangent, but uh, that's what I've been dealing with this week. Well, we have made it to the third basement level of Mount Gold Volcano. Let's go find the staircase off to the east. Lots of lava to walk through on this floor. Again, you're just going to be receiving the monster encounters when you're walking on the gray tiles here, not when you're walking through the lava. By the way, I don't think I mentioned it in the last episode, but those horned devil monsters can also cast the hold spell, which can paralyze one of your characters, so be wary of that. Alright, well here's the staircase. We're down on the fourth basement level, but we're going to have to go find a staircase that will actually take us back up to the third basement level. This floor has actually got a whole lot of lava to walk through, so... If you don't want to encounter the monsters, you can walk through the lava, but keep in mind that your HP is going to decrease by one with each step. So probably a good idea to keep an eye on your HP, particularly your weaker mages if you have one in your party. I guess I can just go ahead and throw a potion there on Vivi. Alright, well we found the staircase. Let's go back on up to the third basement level again. Time to make our way to the next staircase, uh, which is off to the southwest a little bit. So let's go south and west, and then south and west again. Oh, okay, well here's a new monster you can fight, the Hellhounds. The Hellhounds can cast a blaze spell, which will do fire damage to all four of your characters. They're weak to ice if you want to use the um, Blizzard or Blizzara spell. I guess I can just have VV use Blizzard and everyone else use their weapons. And Cloud and Lock do the job for us. And we're going to get a new entry in our bestiary, so let's scroll down to find it. There's the Hellhound at number 63. It has a little less than 200 HP, no treasure drops. Okay, let's zoom to the west from here with the B button dash. That was a battle with another Hellhound. And here we are to the staircase, back down onto the fourth basement floor. Now we're onto the good part of the fourth 
basement level because we're ready to find a whole bunch of new treasure and we can start off by going inside this chamber right here which houses two treasure chests now if you open up this uh, southeastern chest from the left side you'll be forced into an encounter with a lava worm I believe so we'll open it up from the south here and inside this treasure chest we are going to find a gold needle all right now keep this treasure in the back of your mind remember that we picked up the gold needle within this treasure chest all right let's go ahead and get this second treasure chest from the south doing so is going to force us into a battle with another new monster this time we're going to get to fight the fire lizard another monster weak against ice 296 HP so let's just go ahead and uh, have everybody attack except for Vivi who will use the blizzard spell and both Cloud and Lock score a critical hit and easily take out that fire lizard and we're gonna earn 618 experience points and 1200 gil lots of gil there and we're gonna find yet more gil when we open up this treasure chest it houses 2000 750 gil wow getting richer by the minute all right let's go find some more treasure let's see let's head off to the west from here south and then west again four minotaurs in that battle fought those back in the cavern of earth they were also available here in mount gold volcano and that was another hellhound in that battle all right, let's go inside here to find another treasure chest. And this time we're going to get 1,760 gil. I'm not sure who decided to use the Mount Gold Volcano as their personal bank, but they decided to store a lot of gil here, so plenty of gil for the Light Warriors to steal. And here's yet another chamber, one of many on this floor. And inside here, we're going to find five treasure chests. So let's get busy picking them open. This first treasure chest is going to contain an antidote. And this upper left chest is going to contain 7,340 gil. Mercy my. That's a lot of gil. How much gil do I have now anyway? Wow, look at that. Over 100,000 gil in the Light Warrior's pockets there. And they're going to be able to use that to purchase all those new level 6 magic spells when they get back to Crescent Lake. There's some more gil there, 880. This treasure chest is going to contain a very nice new weapon for Cloud, the Ice Brand. And that's actually a sword gripped by Winter's Chill. And that's going to be effective against the uh, fire monsters here in Mount Gold Volcano and when you equip it on Cloud and replace his Mithril Sword it's going to take his attack power up to 41 from 35 but not only that it's also going to increase his accuracy by 10 points up to 139 so a very very good find for Cloud there. Now if you don't want to fight this forced encounter here with another Lava Worm I believe uh, you can open up this treasure chest from the right side but I guess I'll go ahead and fight the Lava Worm and net the experience in Gil. Nothing to it. And inside this last treasure chest, we are going to find a Flame Shield. Let's go ahead and put that on Cloud as well. Replace his Mithril Shield. It's going to take his defense up 4 points to 58. A shield alive with the power of fire. So some good stuff in here. Alright, well let's work our way to the southeast now. Ah uh, yes, Cloud's new Ice Brand is very effective against the Hellhounds, and after defeating that Hellhound, all four of the Light Warriors leveled up to level 29. Okay, I believe we have a few more chambers we can go into to find more treasure. Here's one right here waiting for us to enter. Inside here we're going to find two more treasure chests. Let's avoid that forced encounter on the tile just north of where Cloud is standing there. Let's open up. <laughs> well darn, that fire hydra stole my thunder there. That's actually not a forced encounter. 
uh, on that tile right there. But uh, what I started to say was let's open up this uh, first treasure chest from the south side. Inside here we're going to find more gill, 155 to be exact. And the second treasure chest will contain a dime. All right, let's go find another chamber up here to the northeast. Yeah, I'm really glad that I brought along all of those potions with me. Just used a whole bunch of them there for walking through the lava and taking damage from the monster attacks. Okay, here are three more treasure chests to get. Actually, one of them is empty. Now, you can actually open that far right one if you did not get the ice brand up in that northwesternmost chamber. There's one ice brand available in two treasure chests, and this would have been one of them, so that's why that one is empty. But we can get two more treasures here. Inside this first chest, we will pocket 2,000 gil, and the second treasure chest contains a cottage. I've always wondered how in the world they can stash a large cottage into a small treasure chest. Just one of those mysteries of Final Fantasy, I guess. There's actually still one more monster I'm looking for here on this level. Haven't run into it yet. Hopefully I'll find it before we get down to the staircase. If not, I'll just have to hunt it. And I actually think it's available on the fifth basement floor too. Okay, one more chamber to go into and I believe this is it. Yep, it sure is. Two more treasures to get. If you open the treasures from the left side, you will be forced into battle with a fire lizard, I believe. So let's just go ahead and open them from the other side. This first chest contains yet more gill, 1,250. And the second treasure chest contains another worthless staff. How many worthless staffs have we found in treasure chests so far in this game? They love to hide those staffs for me for some reason in the chests in this game. Well, for some reason, the Hellhounds love to come after the Light Warriors on this floor. At least in my case, they have. So, before we go down this staircase to the fifth and final floor of Mount Gold Volcano, I'm going to go ahead and hunt down one more monster on this floor to get it out of the way and add it to the bestiary. So, let me roam around this floor a little bit, and once I find that monster, I'll show you that battle. And here it is. It did not take me very long at all to find this new monster, the Fire Gigas, which roams around here on the fourth basement level. I actually got a preemptive strike against it, so it is not going to attack the Light Warriors at all. The Fire Gigas is weak to ice, and it has exactly 300 HP. And Cloud's Ice Brand should be very effective against it. Yep, it does a lot of damage there. Not quite enough to take it down, though. Lock does that job for us. So there it is, 376 experience points and a little over 1,500 gil. So not too shabby there. And we get a new entry in the bestiary, so let's take a quick look at it here. Actually, the uh, fire lizard, I didn't ever show that to you, did I? It's number 64 in your list. And the fire gigas is number 65. So there you have it, and that's going to do it for us on the fourth basement level, so let's go on downstairs to the fifth and final basement level of Mount Gold Volcano. And as you can see, you can pick a direction, any direction you would like to go for starters here, it's just like the points of a compass. Now if you were to go off to the northeast, to the east, or to the southeast, you would find a chamber in each of those directions and each of those chambers would house a treasure chest but unfortunately for me those treasure chests are going to be empty now if you did not pick up the gold needle that we found on the previous floor it would be available in one of those treasure chests so that's the way it works uh, if you're confused well don't worry about it so am i that's just the way it is here in the dawn of souls version of final fantasy one so, yep, those treasure chests would contain a gold needle, but since I've already got it, they're now empty. But there is one treasure chest that I do want to get here on the fifth basement level, and it's available in this westernmost chamber right here. But it's pretty well guarded. There it is right there, but we're going to have to fight two forced encounters in order to get it. 
and the first one is right about here and that was a battle with a fire lizard so we've got the first forced encounter down but the second one is waiting for us right here so let's go into battle here with another new enemy this time we're gonna fight a red dragon and the red dragon is of course weak to ice but not only that interestingly enough it's also weak to stone and poison and it looks like the red dragon has 248 HP again clouds ice branch would be very effective against it wow pretty powerful physical attack there it did over 100 points of damage to poor BB down there but we easily take out the red dragon otherwise it will give you 726 experience points and 4,000 gil. So you can earn lots of gil from this one red dragon. In fact, I believe uh, one viewer commented in the last episode that they came down to this fifth basement floor level and fought the red dragon over and over again and accumulated a fortune in gil. And that's a very good idea if you're looking to earn gil. Come on down to the 5th basement floor and fight this red dragon over and over again. It won't take you long to earn a whole bunch of it. So there you have it. And we've got another new monster to take a look at in the bestiary. There's the red dragon right there at number 66. And that now takes us to a third of the way to completion here on our bestiary. So let's go ahead and open up this treasure chest to find some flame mail inside. Very nice new piece of equipment for Cloud. We're gonna replace his knight's armor with that. His defense stays the same, but the mail is a lot lighter than the knight's armor, so it's gonna take his evasion from 54 to 77. And the flame mail is mail infused with the power of fire. So good stuff right there. All right, well, I think that officially does it for us for all of the treasure here on Mount Gold Volcano. What we want to do now is go find the source of all the problems here in this volcano, the newly stirring fire fiend who's awakened 200 years before her time thanks to the Light Warrior's defeat of Lich. So let's backtrack here. Let's fight this fire lizard again. And we can find the Fire Fiend's Chamber in the southwestern corner of this level. So let's head down there. Make our way through some more lava. The chamber is just down below here. And there it is. Now before we go inside, I'm going to take a moment to heal up my character's HP and also their MP a little bit and once I take care of that I'll be right back okay there we go I've got everybody back to full HP and went ahead and used a couple of ethers on Lena and BB down there as well though they probably didn't really need it too badly but I still have 66 potions left in my inventory so 99 was probably a little overkill but better safe than sorry I guess so are you ready to go after the fire fiend well, let's go on inside the chamber here, and upon doing so, we will find a red orb on the ground right in front of a fire crystal, and upon investigating the orb, a sinister female voice comes from within. The fire fiend says, So, you are the ones who defeated the fiend of Earth and roused Merilith from her slumber. Uh-oh, here we go. A sinister form is taking shape from within the orb, and we have a hideous creature standing in front of us. Merilith says the power of the burning flame is mine, and mine alone. Those who would oppose me shall burn in hellfire. Well, we'll see about that, Merilith. So here we go. It is time for us to fight the next fiend, the fiend of fire known as Merilith previously known as Carrie in the NES version of Final Fantasy 1. Well, Merilith is going to be a fairly tough boss, believe it or not. She has 1,440 HP. Now, being the Fiend of Fire, you would think Merilith would be weak against ice, but interestingly enough, she's not. 
Marilith does have some weakness though. She's weak to status ailments. She's weak to paralysis, darkness, sleep, silence, and confusion. So if you want to have your mages throw some sort of status ailment like that at her, feel free to do so. That might be kind of fun. Otherwise, Marilith has pretty high defense, so Cloud and Locke's attacks are going to be useless until they're tempered and hasted up. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to have Lena cast the Null Blaze spell because Marilith can use Fira, which can do a lot of damage, so I'm going to have her start off with that. I'm going to go ahead and start off by tempering up Cloud there too. We might try a Silence or Confusion spell here in a bit. So it looks like Marilith is going to start off the battle for us with a Fira spell. So that does quite a bit of damage there, so we're going to have to keep an eye on everyone's HP if she continues to do that, but hopefully now the Fira spell won't do quite as much damage now that Null Blaze has been applied. Alright, well let's continue onward to round two here. Let's go ahead and see if we can have Lena silence Marilis, since she is weak to silence. That might be kind of fun to keep her from using those nasty spells. I think Marilith can also use the dark spell to blind your party members. Let's go ahead and paste up Cloud there too. You can see Locke's not doing too much damage at all, but Cloud did score a critical hit there and did over 300. That's not bad. He should do a lot more now that he's hasted up. All right, come on, silence. Ah, oh, it missed. Great. Well, we can try again. No worries. Now, the thing is, if you do silence Marilith successfully, she'll start using physical attacks, and her physical attacks can hit very hard. Let's temper up the lock there next. boy, Cloud, that's lots of damage. There we go, we got lock tempered up. Come on, silence. Ah, it missed again. Well, she is weak against it, and it does work. Just haven't been able to get it to do so yet. Oh well, I may not get to do it before we defeat her. Especially now that I'm going to put haste on the lock there. Okay, there's the dark spill. Now, oh great. Well, <laughs> she did successfully blind Cloud, but it was to no avail because he scored a critical hit. It did just a little bit below 600 points of damage, so... That's a little bit disappointing. I wanted to try to silence her for fun, but we were just a little too strong for her there at level 29. But we defeat Marilith. We earn 618 experience points and 3,000 gil. And the Light Warriors step forward and raise up the Fire Crystal. And just like before with the Earth Crystal, they are going to successfully relight the fire crystal. That's crystal number two. And somewhere off in the distance, a mysterious dungeon known as the Hellfire Chasm has a hideous statue of Marilith in front of it. But now that Marilith's been defeated, the statue disappears, opening the way to yet another bonus dungeon. So the Hellfire Chasm is now available to go through at any time and I'll be showing you the location of the Hellfire Chasm a little bit later on and we'll definitely be going through that bonus dungeon later on in the game. Alright well as you can see in your crystal list the fire crystal is now relit following Marilith's defeat and we can take a look at the entry for Marilith in the bestiary. She's found at entry number 67 and she will occasionally drop a golden apple as a treasure. I believe that's an item that will increase one character's maximum HP. And there's proof positive that Marilith is weak to all those status elements. So that may be kind of fun to uh, confuse or silence her, but anyway, uh, let's go ahead and exit out from the platform from behind here. I can step on it, there we go. <laughs> so the Light Warriors teleport out of Mount Gold Volcano and they have successfully defeated another fiend. Another crystal has been relit, but we still have the Water Crystal and the Wind Crystal to relight. And in our next episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy 1, we're going to see what we need to do 
to make progress to find those next fiends and relight those next crystals. So thank you very much for watching today's episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy 1. I certainly do hope you enjoyed today's video. This has been Vortex, your host. Have a great day, and we'll see you again next time.